Eleven Labs just dropped a massive update on May 30th, 2025, and no, it's not just another minor tweak. This thing is starting to sound more human than your podcast host who still uses the word synergy. This update doesn't just fix problems, it annihilates them. Creators, developers, and anyone tired of hearing their own voice on every take, you're going to want to sit down for this. But let's back up. What even is Eleven Labs? It's basically your voice assistant on steroids. You can generate voiceovers using text, clone your own voice, make multilingual narration, and even prank your friends by sounding like Morgan Freeman. It's a full-blown AI voice platform, and after this update, it's starting to feel like your digital twin with a better personality. If you're new here, let's talk about how to actually use Eleven Labs step-by-step step without having to read a user manual that looks like it was written in Morse code. Start with the text-to-speech TTS feature. Go to the text-to-speech tab. Yes, it's right there on the homepage. You're not being hacked. Pick a voice. You can choose from their pre-built voices, some of which sound eerily real, or use your own cloned voice. We'll get to that. Paste your script into the box. Easy so far, right? Now for the dials and sliders that give you god-tier control. Voice stability. Set it low if you want dramatic voice actor vibes, or high if you're going for that bland customer service tone. Clarity plus similarity makes it sound more natural. The higher you go, the more it sounds like a real person, and less like a robot trying to sell you crypto. And if you've got style exaggeration enabled, crank it up to make your AI voice sound like it's auditioning for a telenovela. When you're done tweaking, just click Generate or Download and boom, instant voiceover magic. Now, if you're the type who wants to sound like yourself, or better yet, like Morgan Freeman's slightly sassier cousin, you'll want to check out VoiceLab. Head to VoiceLab Instant Voice Cloning. Upload a clean audio sample of your voice, minimum one minute of you talking, no background noise, and absolutely no chewing gum. Name your voice whatever you want. Budget Batman is valid. Adjust a few settings, hit clone, and just like that, you've made your own AI vocal doppelganger. You can now use that voice in the TTS section like any other voice. Oh, and bonus, there's a link in the description that gives you 10,000 free credits to get started. That's a lot of AI memes, folks. Now let's circle back to the real reason we're all here, the May 30th, 2025 update. This thing is stacked. First, Conversational AI 2.0 brings real-time voice-to-voice interaction with natural turn-taking. Yes, the AI finally learned how to not interrupt you like your little cousin during movie night. Then, there's automatic language detection. You can now go full Spanglish or toss in some French. Eleven Labs will handle it without breaking a sweat. Batch calling lets you call thousands of people with AI voices, meaning no more burning out your throat on repetitive scripts. They also integrated Claude Sonnet 4 from Anthropic, giving the AI serious brain power behind the scenes. And if that wasn't enough, there's multimodal support too. So now voice and text can tag team like a WWE duo for your projects. This isn't just a shiny new feature drop. It's Eleven Labs flexing hard in a market where Descript, Play.ht, and others are still fumbling with emotional tone controls. Eleven Labs isn't just pulling ahead, it's doing a burnout in a Tesla while the others are looking for parking. So yeah, whether you're making YouTube videos, narrating podcasts, creating in-game dialogue, or launching an AI-powered meme empire, this update just made your life a lot easier.